Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we will start working with Microsoft Word Laboratory Exercise 3. Laboratory Exercise 3 um, will show you how we can insert a picture, clip art, uh, word art, diagram, smart art, and chart. And before that, we will learn how to insert a table and how to change the border and other properties. Then we will go through inserting an equation and how we can insert set of symbols, footnotes, and some uh, points or properties regarding the print. Now let us start with the exercise. Start Microsoft Word and then type the table title. So we click on the Start menu and then Microsoft Word 2010. Type the title. The title is Students Table SQU. So we type the title Students Table SQU and then press Enter. Count total number of rows and columns and insert the following table in a new file. Now, the table we have 1, 2, 3, 4 columns and number of rows are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So four columns and seven rows. To insert a table, click on Insert tab and then Table. Select four columns and seven rows. Then press using the mouse, left mouse click. Type only the text without entering the picture, shape, object, and table border. Then after typing the text, save your table on the desktop and name the file with the student. Then create a space between rows by using Enter key. Whenever you create a table, at the top you will have a table tools which includes two tabs, Design and Layout. Through Design, you can change your uh, table style. You can change the shading by adding a specific color to a um, row, set of rows, column, set of columns, the whole table, or set of cells. You can also change the border by adding a specific border, bottom, top, left, right, or you remove the border or add all borders outside and inside or only outside, only inside. You can do change the color and the width, other setting using the border and shading option. In the layout, we can uh, delete a specific cells or cells, delete a column, row, or the table. We can also insert a row above, a row below, column left, column right. We are able also to mer merge set of cells or split a cell, also to change the height and the width of a cell. We can also change the alignment of the text, changing the uh, vertical alignment and the horizontal alignment. You can also change the text direction written inside the table. Now we need to insert the text only. The, the first column text is a student number. And then name. Subject. And general. The first student number is 93445. Second student 93446. 
We can enlarge the size of the cell by randomly changing the row height. Click at the bottom of the row, uh, bottom of the row, the bottom border, and then drag it down. First student name Salem, Ahmed, Norman. Man. Shaquille and Better. The subject computer data structure. Interior design, algorithms. Artificial intelligence, Java. So this is the text, now save your file, file, save on the desktop, the file name is a student, click on save. Apply the border style on the table, we can see that here we have different border style. If we go through the first column, we have the first, second, third uh, cells. First cell, at the top double, at the left double, right double, and bottom special border. While the second cell, Top special border, left double, right double, bottom double. The other cells, which are here, starting from the fourth cell, student number 93447, up to the end, they almost have the same border, which is from the left double, Right special, top and down are single. We will do change those first. Starting from student 93447 up to the last student, select those set of cells. And then either you select on design, borders, borders and shading or right mouse click and then select borders and shading. In the borders, select custom border and then start with the double, for example. The double border will be at the left side. Click on the left side. And then change the style to 
double zigzag and then click on the right hand side while the top middle bottom are single so keep them as it is come to the first cell you can change the border and shading for only one cell by selecting a custom and then select for example double and then put, keep the double at the top left and right then select a special cell border and then keep it at the bottom be sure that you click on apply to a cell and then click ok the second cell has a double from all sides we will not change the top we will change only the border and shading and keep it double from left right and bottom let us change the general and subject cells right mouse click border and shading select custom and then select double both cells have a double from the top then select triple both cells have triple from the bottom and then select special Both cells have a special from the left and right. Now you can do other change by selecting border and shading and select the required change and keep it for example for the middle and you can change the top border, the left border, the right border, and so on, as it's required. Now, question number seven. Format, format the table title as font face calibre, size 17, bold, and underline. Select the table title change the font face to Calibri the font size to 17 if there is no 17 in split you can type it click B for bold and U for underline now question number 8 Format the table text font face button in bold and the green color. Select the whole text for the table and then change the text to button. B for bold and the color green number nine format the text of the first row heading in italic and dark red color select only the first row click i for italic change the color to dark red Number 10, apply shading to the second column of the table with full orange accent 6 lighter 40 percentage, pattern style 5 percentage and pattern color dark blue. To do the change on the second column, select the second column and then from 
design, border and shading or right mouse click border and shading. Click on shading. The full color is orange accent 6, lighter 60 percentage. The pattern style is 5 percentage and pattern color is darker blue. So we change the background color or the shading color for the second color. Now insert a new row at the end of the table. If we need to insert a new row, we should click at the end of the table or on any one of those cells. It doesn't matter. Then select layout, insert below. Type the student number is 93451 and the student name is Jamil. The subject is Oracle. Insert a new column before the table and type serial number. Click anywhere on the first column, then select Insert Lift. Right here, Serial Number. Now insert the ribbon, clock, picture, smart art, and word art in the last column of the table. Then resize the ribbon, clock, smart art, and word art. And then keep the picture size as it is. Estimate the key for chart. To, to do uh, insert those things, we need to uh, complete 13, 14, 15, 16 together. We will do it in the next video.